reports. New research on the mutation of the coronavirus with new strains emerging around the world. What does it mean for the vaccine's effectiveness and will we need boosters every few years? Dr. Max Gomez tackles those questions for you tonight. Those questions are beginning to worry some experts. Charles asks, will the present vaccines protect us against the new strains of virus or will we have to have a new yearly vaccine for every new mutation? Charles, there's good news and bad news here. But first, understand that all viruses mutate. That's what they do. Some faster than others, like the flu, but they all do it. And most virus mutations are actually harmless or even beneficial. The good news is that the mutations that led to the more contagious corona variant from England so far appears to be susceptible to both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Several studies have shown that the vaccines produce an immune response more powerful than even a serious case of COVID-19. But results of studies on strains from South Africa and a similar one from Brazil, neither of which have yet been detected in the U.S., suggest that the vaccines may not be as protective against those variants. As for needing a yearly or every few years booster shot, we don't yet know how long the vaccine immunity lasts. This is still all too new. However, if new strains show up that aren't susceptible to the present vaccines, then we may need more frequent shots to stop those. Public health experts are not panicked, though, because the mRNA technology of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines can generate immunizations against the new strains in a matter of weeks. The key is to do much more genetic analysis of coronaviruses than we're presently doing, so vaccines can be made before worrisome mutations become widespread. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And for more of Dr. Max's answers to your vaccine questions, just head over to cbsnewyork.com.